everybody, it's design time and today we are going to explore some staging mistakes. And although I feel like there are more than just the five that we are going to discuss today, these are the ones that I see the most of and are the easiest to fix. Well, except for one. Not that easy. I see these mistakes in occupied homes, but I have to say I do also see them once in a while in staged homes, not my staged homes. Okay, we're gonna start in the kitchen, which is one of the main viewing areas. It is what sells homes along with bathrooms and they can look so good or not so good. So this is number one, and that is putting stuff on top of your kitchen cabinets. This also applies to any sort of high shelving that there might be in your home, but the tops of cabinets is where I see it all the time. Most of the time it is fake plants kind of hanging over the cabinets, but a lot of the time people put vases up there, pictures, baskets, plates and pitchers, you name it, I've probably seen it up there. I have to remind you guys before I go on, this is to sell your home, not necessarily how you have it when you live in it. Homes need to look very different when they're for sale as opposed to when we simply live in them. Now the reason I consider stuff on the cabinet tops a mistake is because all that does is bring down the ceiling. And what I mean by that is it makes your ceilings look not as tall as they actually are because the eye is drawn up to the top of the cabinets and it pretty much stops where you start placing your fake plants and your plates and whatever else. When we leave that space on top of the cabinets open, it not only allows us to see the kitchen more clearly, but it also looks less cluttered. So since we're in the kitchen, I am going to mention another mistake, but I'm going to roll it all into the kitchen, and that is the countertops. If anyone's guilty of having a lot of stuff on their countertops, it's me. But if I were selling my home, you wouldn't see any of the stuff that's on there now, especially appliances, your tea kettle. I don't know if I even need to say this, but any food items, don't leave your loaf of bread on the counter. Leaving jars or canisters that are decorative on top of the counters is okay, but preferably not any paper towel holders or utensils. You want a neat and tidy kitchen so potential buyers can actually see where they'll be doing all of their cooking. Next, we're going to get to wall decor. I'm a big fan of wall decor. I put it everywhere. Framed art, canvas art, mirrors, sculptures. What I don't put up or leave up is personal photos. Personal photos are not decor. They are, well, personal. And they're there for the current homeowner to look at and enjoy not the buyer. When a buyer sees someone else's personal photos, it makes it harder for them to imagine themselves living there because these people already do. So it's probably best that you take down that collage of the Hawaiian vacation you took four years ago. Okay, the next one is something I see all the time and I just don't understand how people feel like it's okay to show their house with a comforter on top of their bed. No duvet, no coverlet over it, no quilt, just that white grid pattern comforter laying on top of the bed. To me, why even have your bed in there if you're not going to dress it up and make it look welcoming? It's really not hard to throw a duvet or a coverlet over that comforter. It does not look good naked. All right, next staging mistake, that's a simple fix, is rugs. Now I'm not talking about area rugs that are placed the right way, the right size. I'm talking about just rugs laying there for no reason. They might be in the entryway, the kitchen, hallways, bathrooms, all kinds of places where they need not be. I've seen a variety of rugs in a kitchen and while I understand you want your feet to be on something soft while you're doing the dishes, the potential buyer doesn't. They're not going to be doing dishes in that house. They're going to be looking at it. And the best thing to do is lift up the rug so they can see the floor. One other thing that is with the rug mistakes is rugs that are too small. As you guys saw in my how to style an area rug video, I explained that the bigger the area rug, the better. And that is simply because it makes the room look larger. And when you have a small rug that isn't even big enough to put your furniture on top of, it's going to make the room look small and odd. All right, I saved this last mistake 
well, for last, because it's not quite an easy fix, but then again it is. And that is bold colors in the home. I think a lot of us have painted a wall, kind of like the one behind me, in sort of a bolder color than just beige or gray, and we feel like it looks great. But that might not be the feeling of the potential buyer. Bold colors are really distracting. And as we know, people have their favorite colors, and if you've painted it one of their least favorite, it's going to deter them. That's why it's safest when you are selling your home just to paint whatever bold colors that are in your house a less exciting color. I've staged many vacant homes with multicolored rooms, purple in one, blue in the other, red upstairs, and green in the den. This makes my job much harder because I have to tone down those colors and draw the buyer's attention away from them. Again, I know it's not an easy fix, but it is easy compared to tearing walls down and putting in new carpet. You can either do it yourself or hire someone for a couple hundred dollars per room, and it will make thousands of dollars of difference when selling your home. So that's it for the five staging mistakes that are easy fixes. Quick recap, cabinet tops, countertops, clear. Personal pictures, put them away. Naked comforter, cover that shit up. Random rugs, take them up. Rugs that are too small, make them bigger. Okay, buy them bigger. A little color, great. A lot, not so great. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys next time on Design Time. Bye.